The, the New York football giants, Trey, um, they won ugly against the commanders. Uh, and again, they won fugly. They didn't win ugly. They won yeah. fugly. But they're winning. And they, they, well, have they won this week. They won well, this that, week. That's kind of where I want to go here because yeah. the Vikings, look, the Vikings, the biggest comeback in NFL history last week, but they also got down 33 0 to Matt Ryan's grandfather and the Indianapolis Colts. So yeah. the, you know, my point here is this is maybe another winnable game for the New York Giants, one they, they, they at least will be competitive in. Do they have an opportunity to squeeze into the playoffs here too? And, and well, is that. Right, right now they're in playoff position, and we'll talk about the fraudulent Vikings with the Reef uh, in a little bit. I'm sure. Um, you know, I did enjoy putting out the potential fraud alert uh, screenshot when they were down 33 to nothing, and <laughs> if it was anybody else but the Colts and my oh, yeah, friend Jeff coaching, that game is over. There yep. were some serious problems that Matt Ryan had, and there were some like Jeff and I have talked about it. Some things that he would have absolutely done differently there. Um, but as for the Giants, I, I jokingly texted with a former Giant because he was like, you know, together blue, we believe. And I said, guys, like the refs gave you that game. And he goes, eight, five, and one. And I texted him back, eight, fraud, and done is what I said. Um, I, I don't believe in the Giants. I need to see a ton more. Like, I think Brian Dable has done an amazing job with not a lot. Like, they don't have a bunch of ways to win. And uh, they he has he has instilled in them the belief that they can win. Um, but yeah, I, I look if, if again going back to the officiating, Terry McCall, Terry McLaren lines up, looks at the ref and says, Am I good? And the ref goes and then throws the flag on what would have been the game winning touchdown. And, and we talked about the pass interference, which was so incredibly blatant. Dean Blandino went on and, on uh, the 33rd team and said, Yeah, this was horrendous. That absolutely was the definition of pass interference, and it should have been called. And the Giants would still be looking for their first division win of the year uh, if those things had had, uh, had not taken place. Yeah. Um, I give I give them all the credit in the world, but I'm not like oh together blue all in. Oh, like, sure. This is this is the Eli Manning Giants of Super Bowl <laughs> 42 and Super Bowl 46. Hell no. They but do, do they have good. a pathway, Trey? Like they do. They have a path. I mean, everybody in the NFC East has a path. They're all in the playoffs right now. It's Literally, wild. every team in the NFC East wild. is still in the playoffs. So. That'll that'll whittle itself out as we as we get a little closer to the end of the season. And you know, like right now, well, let me let me pull that up real quick. I was just looking at there. Uh no, that's the teams. But we can talk about the Vikings in a second. Yeah. Uh right now, uh all four teams in the NFC East are in, and it's the um, Seattle Seahawks and the and the uh, Detroit Lions uh sitting behind that final seven spot. And I think they'll the Seahawks will fall out of that because I think the Chiefs are home for the first time in a month, and I think they're gonna open up a can on a Seattle defense. By the way, Seattle's run defense. Have you have you looked at the numbers recently? Yeah, well, I, just, I actually just put up 100 on them uh, the other day. On who? On the Seahawks defense, me, as a, as a runner. Oh, I was about to say, you put, I thought you put 100 down, like betting on the Seahawks. No, no, no. Like, I, what are I you doing? with my bum Achilles, just rushed for 100 yards on that defense. They've given up 160 yards in five straight games. That's the first time in Pete Carroll. I mean, Pete Carroll's been in the NFL. Forget his time in the USC. He's been right. in the NFL as an assistant or head coach 29 years. 29 seasons. Uh, he's never had a team give up 160 rushing yards in five straight games. If you have Isaiah Pacheco on your fantasy team and you are in the playoffs, you should feel pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a Kansas City game where the, the moniker is wide fly when you can drive. Yeah. If Mahomes throws for 25, has 25 or more attempts, then Andy Reid is drunk. And he should. Uh, you know, uh, Andy Reid in the run game is. Uh, yeah. Is well, I know it happens, but I mean, yeah. like, you, and look at McKinnon. Like, McKinnon was great against the Texans too. So the Texans were a terrible run team, and yep. uh, and they figured that out. And I think that they'll just pound the rock against those guys and let Mahomes do his MVP type stuff. And we should have that discussion because, brother, it ain't close who the MVP of this league. It is not close, and I can sell it for you, and I can explain it to you. You just have to want to believe it. <laughs> because it is not freaking close. It's not. Uh, and, and real quick, shout out to offensive line coach for the Chiefs, uh, Coach Heck, uh, Andy Heck. He called yeah. the game-winning play for uh, Jarek McKinnon against the Texans, and the week before called the game-winning play uh, for Isaiah Pacheco. So, uh, Andy, keep listening to Coach Heck. There you go. Um, that being said, uh, before we our, – our good buddy Arif is in the studio. He is, he is waiting to come in so he can talk about uh, the alleged fraud – of the Fraudulent. Minnesota Vikings and others. Fraudulent. But before we do that, I just want to point out there that on all three of these teams, Trey, 
I have all three of these teams losing this week with a caveat, obviously, with Dallas Philly. My betting model, the behavior bets model, has the Eagles winning by a point if Jalen Hurts plays. If he doesn't play, uh, Dallas wins by at least four points um, pretty much every time you run it. So, that by the way, that, by the way, real quickly, just so you know, and this is how crazy this is. Even if Jalen Hurts plays, it was a two point spread. Now it's like I said, down to four and a half. Yeah. It's the first time all year the Eagles have been underdogs. They've been yeah. favored in every game yeah. going in, except for this one. Yeah. And if, like I said, if Jalen Hurts plays, I have them winning. Uh, I have them winning by a point. This past week, week 15, my model went 24 and six, uh, went up 13 uh, and 0.4 units with a 76 return on investment. So now you're essentially, in, you're essentially just like rich then, right? I'm doing uh, quite well, quite Nicely well. Done. So well I would done. tell you guys, and, and I'm not making this up. You can all see this. You track it on picket, track me on picket sports. You could tell the model. Make sure you track your own bets uh, when you go to pick it. It's free to download, easy to use. And the best thing to do, I placed 30 bets this weekend and pick it kept track for me on everything. And that's how I could tell you why I'm doing so well, because I, it's right here. I just pull it up and it's there. You should be doing that too. It's free. Download pick it. The link is in the, com uh, in the comments. The promo code is PFN365. Pick it sports. Make sure you do it. It's easy, simple. I only bet at Caesars. You don't need to be betting at multiple sports books. Bet at Caesars, but track it all right there. Pick it, PFN 365 in the comments.